Hi guys, um, Caitlin here. I um, started the NJ Veggie Garden Lovers group um, maybe about a year ago now. Um, and I welcome all of our new members, existing members. Thank you for continuing to post your awesome pictures of your gardens. I just wanted to take a minute to introduce myself. Um, I am a mom of two little girls who you can probably hear in the background and I love gardening. And they're calling me right now. See, this is how it goes. This is life um, of a mom. All you moms understand the, the constant interruptions, but I get to spend time in the garden, which is my happy place, my calm place, um, a place really of great joy. I mean, what's better than starting something from seed and then seeing it grow and then eating it um, and knowing that it's organic and that you grew it, you know exactly where it comes from, the freshness, so delicious. Um, I really enjoyed growing different things this year. I started out with <clears throat> kind of things you could really just buy in a grocery store, even though, again, organic is expensive. But um, I started to experiment a little bit more this year with growing new things. I grow something new, I think, uh, every year because it keeps it exciting. But uh, adding a lot of color um, into the garden and fun different things. So anyway, I just wanted to introduce myself, um, say thank you again for being part of the group. Oh, hey, look at my, uh, my this is my harvest. Uh, that when I walk through the garden um, this evening. Um, so sorry for the background noise, my neighbor's doing work and my kids, you know, honestly, you'll probably always hear my kids in my videos. They love to have fun. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I wanted to show you around my garden and just, you know, give you a brief overview of what I'm growing and then I'll do other videos if you guys have specific questions about something that I'm growing. Let me know. I'll be happy to tell you I'm not an expert though. So, I mean, I've been doing this for eight or nine years, but I rely on you guys just as much as you'll rely on me in terms of just, you know, if I have issues or if I haven't grown something, I really think that's the power of this group is, you know, knowledge um, of numbers, I guess, right? <clears throat> so let's use each other. Please ask questions. Please don't feel like, oh, my garden doesn't look like so-and-so's and I don't have enough experience and I feel silly asking questions, please ask questions. That's what this group is for. Um, it's to show off, obviously, your garden too, if that's what you want to do. Um, but it really is so that we can help each other learn and grow in gardening. So, um, I'm just gonna show you around my garden and uh, say cheers and, uh, you know, we'll see what I'm growing. So starting with behind me, is my tomatoes. I have a Blinken and Jubilee tomatoes and a variety of cherry tomatoes which I'll show you as we walk around. Um, so red and orange cherry tomatoes, red and orange slicer tomatoes, some Roma tomatoes too. Um, just trying a variety of things. I spaced them further apart this year uh, to give them more space so that seems to be helping. Um, <clears throat> over here are my watermelons. I'm growing them up a trellis. That's just a stocking holding this little baby watermelon. Look at the size of that guy. Super excited about that first time growing watermelon. Um, then these are my cantaloupe plants. <clears throat> they seem to grow pretty well up a trellis. Um, no cantaloupes yet, but I'm hoping. Fingers crossed that I actually get some. And here I have basil, because I just have that throughout, along with marigolds, just because one, they're beautiful and they add color to the garden, but they're also really good companion plants. Um, and then I have, this is my pepper bed. <clears throat> so these are Jimmy Nardello peppers. Guys, look at this plant. Look at this, look how many Jimmy Nardellos are on there. And this, this thing's only like 18 inches big. Variety of sweet peppers, Slavana peppers, different things like that. Um, cantaloupe, like I said. And then over here I have broccoli. Yes, I still have broccoli, it's July 9th. How? I have no idea how this is still growing. Um, I have to find out the variety of this broccoli <clears throat> because it shouldn't still be doing this well in this heat. Maybe having this squash plant here is providing it some shade. I have no idea. Um, about a week ago, I harvested this broccoli. See right here. And look, we have all these side shoots coming up. So don't pull out your broccoli plants. Um, most of them will give you side shoots. Check your variety. Uh, then I have patty pan squash growing here. Look at this little cute guy. <clears throat> then these are my cucumbers. These are pickling cucumbers. Um, again, I can give you the variety if you want, but this is just four plants. Um, 
across like 18 feet um, and it's just in an inch uh, eight, uh, foot of soil here. Those are doing awesome. Oh, I also have onions, little onion sets bunched up. Um, oh, that's a weed. That's not an onion. Huh. Um, kind of just throughout the garden because they're really good deterrents and they kind of camouflage the scents of plants. <clears throat> My zucchini plants, guys, look at this thing. Hold on a second. You have to see. I mean, look at this. This thing next to my head. Look at it. I mean, you guys, it's insane. And I have to thank this group for helping me get my zucchini this big. And I'll give you tips on what I did and I'll link you to the post on that if you're interested. But best zucchini ever. So back to the tour. Um, zucchini. You can see a couple zucchini. Let's see. Growing here. Picking two or three off of these plants every day. I have a couple different varieties. Another zucchini, a yellow squash here. Guys, look at these tomatoes. Holy smokes. This is one plant, guys. There's gotta be at least 30 tomatoes on here. This is the Jubilee variety. Huge, huge producer. One of the strongest ones from seed, too, I remember. Okay, on to my bean trellis. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have this awesome cattle panel arch here. And I have these noodle beans on here. Um, Thank you to Elizabeth Ryer, shout out for these seeds. That's another thing I really encourage you guys to do if you have extras or something or something that you really love growing in your garden. Um, you know, let's let's share some seeds with each other. I've been having a little bit of an aphid issue. So love would love tips um, on how to control aphids. I think I'm kind of keeping it under control. Anyway, um, I think to pick, I'm supposed to pick them when they're this size, so again, Anybody that's grown noodle beans or asparagus beans or yard long beans or Asian long beans, please let me know. Um, but super excited about that. Look at all these. So cool. Uh, and then I have some cherry tomatoes. These are the sun gold cherries. Um, more basil. More basil. Um, I think these are also, yes, yeah, sun gold it looks like. I lost my little tag. Oh, let's see. These are actually, yep, some gold cherry. So, guys, this is only two plants. And just look at this wall of tomatoes. Um, what else we got? Another zucchini plant here. Yep, look at that. More cherry sun gold in the back there. Got all these tomatoes on here, guys. This is why every time I walk through the garden and you see little blooms, just touch them. Just touch them. They self-pollinate pepper and tomato plants, so do that. Let's see what else. These are chocolate cherry tomatoes, guys. Look at these guys. They're beautiful. Look at the size of these. That was also given to us by a friend, so thank you. Um, back here, more basil interplanted and uh, some romaine lettuce that's had its, had its heyday and has now gone to seed. Um, Roma tomatoes look blushing. I picked the first Roma tomato today and then guys check this out. Look at that See, that's why you should when you walk through the garden you need to listen public service announcement I'm telling you easiest thing to do who doesn't love walking through their garden and seeing if something's growing right How many times have you walked out to your garden and been like why aren't you blooming yet or why isn't there a tomato yet? Um, just come watch watch how simple look you're not gonna hurt the plant just go like that when you see those blooms. Just look. Just go like that. I'm telling you, you will get, because all you're doing is helping the tomato or pepper plants self pollinate. The wind does it. Obviously, bees help and other pollinators. But it takes two seconds and you will be, it'll be the best thing that you ever did. You'll get bunches. Like, I'll show you again. Did you see that? Did you see that bunch? Did you see those Jubilee tomatoes? I mean, come on, that was like 30 tomatoes on one plant. Why not? Takes two seconds. Look at this again. Let me show you. Look. Crazy. I'm telling you. Um, what else do I have growing? So those are my tomatoes. Um, beans we did. Oh, uh, so another thing that happens in the garden sometimes is you get volunteer plants, right? A lot of tomato plants um, but like to volunteer for me because I use my own compost and the seeds, like especially 
seeds like tomatoes and pumpkins and squash and stuff I find usually pop up a lot because in order to save tomato seeds, you really have to kind of ferment them, right? A little bit really to get the seeds ready. Well, composting does that automatically. So um, I end up getting a lot of tomato volunteers and some of them I let go um, if I can in the garden where I can, or I take them and transplant them somewhere else. Tomatoes transplant, no problem. This year I have all these awesome new raised beds, say, and in order to fill them, it would have been really expensive with, um, I could have got compost delivered, but we don't have a truck. So $65 delivery fee, eh. but Facebook, again, a great place and a great resource. I found free horse manure, which I shared with you guys. Um, and fantastic, beautiful, beautiful compost, beautiful, absolutely wonderful. Obviously you can see by my garden that everything loves growing in it, but there was weed seeds, right? I mean, horses don't really digest everything like a cow would. So there's weed seeds in it. You can, you know, look, little, little weeds and stuff, but, but still beautiful soil, who cares? And the other bonus is, I've never been able to grow pumpkins. Pumpkins is something that I haven't mastered starting from seed yet. And it's also one of those things, along with winter squash, that is just like, it's lovely in a fall garden, right? Like after everything else, tomatoes have died, maybe peppers have, you know, not made it. And you're thinking, oh, you know, and that cool air has come through and you really just want something from the garden. Um, so I've always tried to grow pumpkin. Never been successful, but I think this year, and you guys can tell me if you've grown pumpkin before and you recognize these plants as pumpkin, please let me know. So I volunteer plant, I think they're pumpkin. And this is one of them. Um, this one, I know, he doesn't really like being on the mulch. We'll see if anything actually happens, but look, here's, a little tiny uh, female flower and then look at these these were all volunteer I did not plant these guys I transplanted them from other places in the garden and I mean look again these things are huge um, and I don't know what it is this one has a little bit more of this type of see it's not really round and then this guy hopefully you can see over here, if I can reach, that's the... So guys, remember how I said in the beginning of the video, I don't know everything. I don't know what these are. I've never grown pumpkin. I think they're pumpkin. Please, if you've grown pumpkin, let me know um, if they are pumpkin. That'd be cool. Hoping they are, whatever they are, we're gonna let nature go and see what happens. Um, this one we're gonna go out of the garden because we have space kind of behind the girl's swing set here um, to let them go. We'll see what happens. Um, so that's everything that I'm growing. Like I said, I'll continue to post videos if you guys like them. Um, it helps me kind of keep track of what I'm growing. And I honestly really just love talking about the garden, going in the garden, sharing the garden with my daughters. They're so excited. We're growing watermelon this year. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and I'll do other videos, like I said, and just, you know, get out there in the garden. Um, don't be afraid to start. Don't be afraid to ask questions and utilize the knowledge of this group. And I'll keep doing the same. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Be kind to one another. Keep those hands dirty. Bye.